how to use Canva prototype. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to access Canva prototypes and also how you can use them. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over canva.com slash prototypes. Here we have the link and the URL. You can go ahead and type in this specific URL and you will see here the prototypes from Canva. You can go ahead and create a prototype or right there by clicking on that or you can go ahead and start designing. For example, we have three types of prototypes. We have the desktop prototypes, we have the mobile prototypes, and we have the tablet prototypes. These prototypes will be right here uh, set up for the dimensions for the correct format. For example, for the mobile one, or the mobile ones will be set into a frame of a mobile phone. For the desktop, the same thing. And for the tablet, it is not different. So you can see here that we have a lot of features. We have a lot of um, uh, inspiration right here going on. You can go ahead and see right here, if you scroll down a little bit, some uh, right here designs or some templates or prototypes that are categorized into three also. We have desktop, mobile, and tablet. Go ahead and use whatever suits you well. You can browse all the templates uh, right there or the templates and also you can modify them. Right here, uh, we are going to see, uh, for example, desktop maybe or the tablet. Let's go ahead and use maybe the desktop. So I'm going to use a desktop prototype. Then we are going to see whatever we have. I'm going to click on browse all templates. Then we are going to select one. Here we have a shoe website. Uh, we are going to browse into a free one. Here, this is a clothing uh, prototype or website. We are going to click on it. And then we are going to see the right dimension of it. But it is uh, 1280 by 800. Click on customize the template. Then boom, we have the prototype selected and created. We have, as you can see, the uh, PC uh, right here frame. And we have the website itself. You can add another page right there, similar to this one, and the frame of the PC will appear. So the dimensions will be uh, restored from the first one. Now let's go ahead and add another page. Maybe we are going to copy and paste some elements. I'm going to set up these, uh, this one, also this one. I'm going to copy it, paste it right there. Here we have a background, I think. So we have a background color. This is the background color. I'm going to copy this specific code or the hex code of it. So we are going to choose this one. I think the, that we have the same thing. Uh, here we have it. Now, boom. Uh, and now here we have some pictures. We have some texts and etc. So. I'm going to make the second page of it. For example, here we have the home page. We have the about us right there. So I'm going to uh, get the same right here, uh, as you can see, font, which is Poppins. I'm going only to copy. So right there, I'm going to paste it right there. And now I need a frame. So I need a white frame. I'm going to see right there. Yes, I need a white frame. So we are going to set up a frame like that. Now we have it. So I think this is enough. Yes, this is. So now for here, we are going to set it white. And for the text, I'm going to change the color of it to something uh, dark. So here we have it. I'm going to uh, right there duplicate this. Then we are going to add it as a, a title like about us to make the difference that this is the page of about us. Uh, for here, we are going to add something like 
this is uh, not very suitable for us but it is popping i'm going to uh, the popping is uh, the font i mean so we are going to add a, a subheading for example uh, our story so right there i'm going to see here popping Opens like that. Go ahead and select the font. So, as you can see here, we have the font. This is a little bit, as you can see here, inclined. So, we are not going to set these. Our story, then we are going to add a, a little bit of text, body text, like that. I'm going to make it like this. So, we are going to set up or make this to the middle maybe i'm going to select all of this this is how for example we are we are a brand a clothing brand a clothing brand that uh, work as hard as possible to make something unique uh, something unique this is just an example you can go ahead and put whatever you want i'm just showing you how we can work with that to the world or make something like that you can go ahead and make it bigger like that and this is our prototype so now we are going to add something else and what we are going to add is the uh, link of that specific page so we are going to set up maybe this we are going to set the uh, or see the notes we are going to name that specific page about us so here we have it i'm going to make this a little bit uh, showy so here we have it now for the about us on the first page we are going to uh, click on the three dots then we are going to click on link so right here it will show you the pages or the designs that are uh, right here as you can see uh, related uh, to this one we have the home and we have the about us so the first page is linked for also you can do that for the next right here um elements or the next text for example a collection you can go ahead and create a collection right there uh, showing the products then you are going to name that specific page collection by clicking on notes make it collection for example right there i'm going to set it collection then we are going to head over the first page which is home click on link then you are going to choose collection so the first page you need to set it home and boom so now how we can share the specific uh prototype it is very easy if you are going to show it to a client for example as a freelancer of course you are going to click on share then we are going to see it as a template or a prototype so we are going right there to click on more then we are going to see how we can see it as a prototype so right here the uh, publishing as a prototype is now gone but they have left a link or the freedom to choose how we can publish or share this specific prototype we can go ahead and share it as a website or a template or a presentation and also the most convenient one which is the public view link you are going to select public view link then you are going to set up this or convert it into a link so all we need to do right there is to get that specific link then you are going to head over it so as you can see here we have the presentation of the uh, prototype we have the three faces of it so everything is clickable as you can see uh, from the uh, buttons that we have added if i click to about us it will take us to the about us page if i click uh, back right here into the collection it will take us to the empty page that we have named it a collection and etc so this is the link that you can go ahead and uh, share 
it to the clients, for example, or something like that, or you're, uh, let's say that you are going to set it as a, a portfolio, you can go ahead either uh, to take a screenshot for it, or you can go ahead and put directly the link of it. Uh, here we have the uh, possibility also to get it and embed it into a, another website. You can save it to a folder, you can send it to a phone, or whatever you want. So that was for the desktop prototype, of course. You can go ahead right there and see the uh, mobile ones right there. You can see here that we have uh, some mobile versions. You can go ahead and see that. Uh, also, we have the uh, specific dimension to it. For example, when I click on this, this is going right away. Uh, the mobile versions are going right away. But instead of this, we have a, a 414 by 896 uh, right there or like this. So you can go ahead and modify these. And when you finish the modification of them, this is like a UX UI slash UI uh, design. You can also do the same thing. For example, I'll click on public view link. You're going to create a public view link. Copy that specific link. I'm going to select all of this. Go to the website that we have created and boom. Here we have it as you can see. And this is uh, the prototype. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And hope to see you soon on the next one.